Hey my dear warriors, welcome aboard to the Vedantu J English channel and this is your Captain Shreyas. Did you know that by just getting 110 to 120 marks in your J mains attempt, you can get close to 95 percentile and if you get half the marks, that's close to 150 marks, you can get 97 percentile. All these statistics and data tells you that you need not study all the chapters, you need not attempt all the questions. There are many things that you can skip and just when there are few weeks before the examination, obviously there would be some things which you are strong at, some things which you are weak at. And it's okay, perfectly fine to leave certain topics and focus all your energies on certain high weightage topics. So what are those topics? That's what I'm going to tell you and also give you a strategy on how exactly to choose the topic. It's not just about high weightage and low weightage. So all this with me Shreyas, your physics master teacher and I've been teaching kids and sending kids to all the top notch institutes including IITs and IITs bits and so much more from the past one decade. So if you want to know more about me, you can definitely follow me on my Instagram handle. Do not forget to smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button so that you keep getting more updates. So let's talk about the, you know, the entire weightage of all the topics, especially in physics and then I'm going to go to chemistry and maths as well. So you can see modern physics, heat and thermo, optics, current electricity and electrostatics. These are the heavy weights in your J mains physics. But does it mean that you have to study all these topics? No, there is a particular order and for that I have divided all the topics in four categories. Over here, you have all the high weightage topics. Over here, you have all the low weightage topics. Here, you have the low input topics, meaning you did not have to put too much of effort or too much of energy into studying these topics. This is obviously relative. Some students might say, no sir, for me this is very difficult to understand. But for most students, generally these topics are low input topics. That means you need to invest a little bit lesser time and energy. These topics are high input. That means you need a lot of focus, a lot of concentration, a lot of concepts are there and you need to invest a lot of time and energy to study these topics. Now, when you divide all the chapters or topics into four categories, this is the category that should be pakka done. You should be very, very skilled in solving these problems from these topics. Be it heat, thermo, Bohr's atomic model, electromagnetic waves, semiconductors and so on and so forth. These are the topics where you should devote least of your time. Because they are not only low weightage, but they also consume a lot of time and your effort. So these are the topics that you are going to skip altogether if there is no time at all or if you have hardly you know studied too much of the portion or if you want to selectively choose the topics before your J mains examination. It's perfectly fine to skip these topics and still get above 95 percentile or even 97 percentile. Now what about these two topics? Well if there was a lot of time I would suggest after studying these topics you can go to this and then go to this and then come to this part if there was a lot of time. But since time might not be a luxury right now, I have told you, you can skip these topics. You have to, you must do these topics. So out of these two, focus on these topics because they require low input, although it is low weightage. Low weightage does not mean no question will come. Obviously there will be one or two questions, you know, from probably each of these chapters or maybe a combination of these chapters. So that will definitely fetch you marks. And because time is not a luxury, this low input chapters will consume less time rather than studying these topics, which require a lot of your time and effort, although they can fetch you a lot of marks, but there is no guarantee you will complete all these topics before your exam arrives. So I would suggest go for this, then this, then this one, and last this one, if time is not there or if you have very little time in your hand. If you have a lot of time, then obviously this should be done first, this should be done second, this should be done third and last priority on this one. This is for physics. The same goes with chemistry and maths also. 
So you can see certain topics like periodic table, your coordination, chemistry, transition, thermodynamics, gaseous state, atomic structure, chemical bonding, all these topics are heavyweight topics. But like we discussed before in physics, these topics need to be divided into four categories. So again, very high weightage, low input. So your complete focus over here, you can skip chapters like biomolecules, mole concept, ionic equilibrium, solid state, S block, periodic table, classification, alcohols, nitrogen, and still get above 95 to 97 percentile. Similarly, in maths, if you see the weightage, ordinate geometry, uh, limits, continuity, differentiability, integral calculus, complex numbers and quadratic equations, these are heavy weights in your J mains maths. But when you divide them into four categories, you will see uh, topics like three dimension vectors, differential equation, sequence and series, straight line, circle, probability distribution, they require low input all, and they also give you high weightage. So you must, must do these topics. Topics which you can skip all together will be these ones like trigonometric ratios and functions, properties of triangles, trigonometric equations, indefinite integration and complex numbers. You can still get 95 to 97 percentile after skipping these topics. Also remember, after doing this, you need to study, uh, you know, this one because the time is less and after that go to this part because it takes a lot of time. Okay, so at least if this much part is done from physics, chemistry, maths, you have a very good chance of getting not just 90 percentile, but above 95 percentile and you can push yourself into these topics as well to boost your score up. So these were the topics that you can skip and you must do and also the strategy of how you should arrange the topics and what is the exact order of studying the topics, especially when there is very little time. Okay, I hope you guys found this session very informative and this was a very short and sweet session. Do not forget to smash the like button. Also leave your comments and anything that you want to ask. Thank you so much. All the best. Hasta la vista.